Yeah, so any more any, any more ideas that we would make a good cat? Antonio Vargas. Hey, he's he's in a film I just did. Lewis. He, he did a cameo film. Film Sucker Punch. It's actually just got signed up um, by um, some sales agents, so it could be out of the screen near you soon. <laughs> Sucker Punch the movie. Angelina, yeah. Angelina Jolie would make the lady cat. Yes. She'd definitely make a good cat. And so would Halle Berry. Halle Berry? Halle Berry. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think Halle could do something. Yeah? Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, the cat. The daddy cat. Yeah. The cat, like the gods of the cats. Yeah, the daddy cat. The big, you know. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson, obviously, yes. Colin Baker. Colin Baker would be a good one, wouldn't he? <laughs> oh, he's wrong with me. Tom Baker. Uh, Tom Baker would be good, he's crazy, yeah. <laughs> Tom Baker's like this all the time! <laughs> he, he, he says some mad stuff, Tom, he's like... Someone comes up to him, you know, and he started talking to him. Uh, Tom, you know, I remember... Is this going to take long? <laughs> 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 he's cold-blooded, he is, Tom Baker. Have you ever heard of the actress Angela Bassett? Tina she, Angela Bassett, yeah, she played Tina Turner. Yeah, she, she'd be good. She's a very strong actress, I think. Yes. Uh, who else? Posh Spice. Posh Spice. <laughs> yes. Uh, what kind of cup would she be? A Siamese cat. A what? A Siamese cat. Shallow. Sophia Spectre. Sophia Spexter. James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Colin Farrell. He'd, he'd probably make a good cat, wouldn't he? And Tony Banderas. And uh, yeah, he could be the yeah, he could be a Riviera kid, couldn't he? <laughs> you imagine the Riviera meets Antonio Banderas. Hey, I'm down the sea. <laughs> what have you been up to? <laughs> oh, I've been acting with some girl, Madonna. Madonna! Madonna? <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah, no, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I can see all you lot all writing scripts tonight. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all all try, fighting each other over the computer. I've got to get anything first. <laughs> what would it be called, though? What would the show be called? Huh? Two <laughs> 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 Yes! With nails and eyes. <laughs> hey, hey. Hi, Danny. Uh, you mentioned your dancing skills earlier. It's so my question about dancing. Of the many different routines you did in Red Dwarf, like uh, yeah. some time, uh, the Blue Ridge Dance, uh, the Dancing Things and Angels, which one was you, your most fulfilling? Which one was your favourite? Do you know what they're saying? <laughs> Simplicity is always the easiest and best. And you forgot about Dwayne's dance. Okay. <laughs> See? The effect was just as, as um, you know, strong as the others. It was so simple. You know, how would Dwayne dance? You know, so, you, you know, it's got to think of the sort of, the, the naffest dances you can see, you know, it's all like a, a, a bad hoedown. Was telling us last night, he was like dad dancing. You know, we could have like a competition. One day do dad dancing, one day do Dwayne dancing. Yeah. To see him, you know, there should be a prize. And he did that one as well. Yeah. <laughs> he did the uh, John Travolta impersonation with Greece. Exactly. Yeah, that's uh, Dwayne's was simple, but I mean, I think as far as well, I think they were all different. You know, whereas, you know, the, 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 the tap dance had a lot of special effects in, you know, so you had dance combined with special effects and uh, whereas tongue tied was just, you know, you know, there was no effects and it was just like raw sort of old school song and dance. Uh, Dwayne was just sort of, you know, sort of caricature you know, cartoony. Um, 
It's, yeah, I think each dance had its own sort of um, reason to be there and it, and, it all, and it had its own vibe. I think it's, they're quite difficult to compare because, they, as I say, they're so different. But I enjoyed all of them. <laughs> you know, I enjoyed all of them as, as much as each other. Hey, Beanie Man. Hello, mate. Um, I do. This movie Soccer Punch. Yeah. Soccer punch. What sort of character do you play? What character? Yeah. I play a character called um, Harley Davidson. His, his, his real name is Ray Davidson, but people call me Harley. Yeah. Um, and he, basically, he's a he's a, he's just a, he's a hustler, and he's he, but he's, he's he's a bit crap with money because he, he always gambles it away. So if he makes it, he always just gambles it away or loses it or you know, bad investments and stuff, and basically finds this street fighter who's gonna sort of, base, as he says, put, put cheese on his cracker. Um, uh, and basically, they go around fighting, you know, sort of street fights and making money, and and then his, his girlfriend's pregnant, and just, you know, he keeps going on, and he goes through, he keeps losing, every time he makes money, he loses it, and there's a, you know, he owes money to the big, Baddie, it's crazy, but it's just it, I can explain. It's it's a bit like if you imagine Fight Club meets Only Fools and Horses. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. Uh, and, and and it's funny that people that were at the screening actually did mention Only Fools and Horses and Minder. You know, those kind of characters came to 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 life. You know. Uh, but the only difference was just Harley just, uh, he did look like something out of the 70s. Uh, How would Rodney react, do you think? Sorry? How do you think Rodney would react to him in the film? Who? You mentioned the Force Forces. Oh yeah. Del Boy and Rodney. Del Boy and Rodney. Nicholas Lindhurst, how would he react? Yeah. I don't know man, have you seen his latest show? <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. Uh, drumming paint comes to mind. <laughs> Tooth extraction. <laughs> well, it's it, it's slightly worse than what's it called? Right. My my odd family. Is it what's it called? That my family. My family. Oh, dearie me. Do you like it? Do you like my family? No, you can't. Yeah, like huh? Sorry? Yeah, it's the same guy as my family because it's a new one, isn't it? Is it? I think it is. What, the guy that wrote it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for a family. Right, it, it kind of, yeah, I can understand that now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, oof, dear me. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm not a great fan of them shows, I'm afraid. How are you doing? Um, Very well, thanks. Good. Um, I asked Chris this yesterday. But what would you do if there was a, uh, like a computer game that came out, a Red Dwarf? Would you think it was a good idea, but would you participate in it as well if it did come to fruition? A computer game? Yeah. Is it there one already? No, no. not yet. Obviously, oh, that's a computer game. game. No, not yet. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I think, I think everyone would participate in a computer game. Because then you could control the cat yourself, you see? Take him to rooms and Red Dwarf. That's right. You know. Yeah, but they'll they'll put a block on, they'll put a block on where how far I can go because <laughs> they think, hey man, this is too risky. Let him loose in cyberspace. <laughs> God, <laughs> I don't know what would happen there. Yes, I 